Hello and welcome to another Beehive integration guide where we're going to cover how to integrate Shopify and Shopify's blog feature with your Beehive publication using an RSS feed to post uh, zap using Zapier. At the end of this video, you'll be able to integrate your Shopify blog with your Beehive publication, ensuring that every time you publish a Beehive post, that post will populate on your Shopify blog. This is useful if you want to white label Beehive as your content creation CMS uh, in coordination with Shopify. If you haven't seen our video of how to integrate forms with Shopify, uh, there's that video within the playlist that you're uh, currently watching, and we recommend doing that as well. And just about some background about this video, you'll need a premium subscription to Zapier in order to access the Shopify uh, source for, or I guess destination for this video. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first step is to jump into your Beehive account. We're gonna navigate from the uh, desktop or the dashboard to settings, scroll down to RSS, and we're gonna copy our RSS feed. Next, we're gonna move into Zapier. We're gonna create a new Zap using the RSS app, RSS by Zapier, with the trigger event, new item in feed. Once we hit continue, we're going to paste that code that we pulled over from our Beehive publication. And we're gonna go through the next steps of triggering, testing the trigger and moving forward. From there, the next step is to choose Shopify from the list of apps. You're then going to select the create blog entry action and hit continue. You'll next have to verify your Shopify account. You'll have to log in and then add the Zapier app to Shopify. It's very, very simple, straightforward steps. Just a couple button clicks and it'll bring you right back to this page. Then you'll set up the action. So this is the most important step of this whole process. You're gonna choose the blog. In this case, we have this one in our sandbox environment. You're going to take the title from the RSS feed you're going to take the author name under here where it says raw creator. You're going to select raw encoded from this drop down list of content. This is very important because if you choose the content uh, thing up here, it's not going to pull in any of the styling. So we'll select raw encoded. Next, we'll set the featured image by selecting the raw enclosure URL. You can see that the image URL here. Lastly, we'll select the description uh, for this excerpt or summary from our description tag. Finally, if you organize your content on Shopify uh, in any specific way, you can add tags here. Unfortunately, currently Beehive doesn't offer the ability to tag posts, but that is coming in the future. Uh, but for now, you can leave that empty. Lastly, if you want things to publish immediately rather than being set to a draft, you're going to select true from this list. So if you're using Shopify to mirror your publication, this should be set to true. Once you hit continue, it'll give you the option to start a test. I've already conducted the test and so uh, it was successful. And what you'll see when you hop over to your Shopify store, you navigate to online store to blog posts, you'll see that we are successfully pulling in the featured image. We have the title, we have the author, and if we view the blog post, you can see that the title is being pulled in correctly, the author is being pulled in correctly, uh, the date is being set to the current date. Now, if we go back here, I think we didn't have an option to set the publish date, and that's unique to, yeah, that's unique to Shopify in that other some other integrations let us set the publish date. But if you're mirroring, this shouldn't matter because when it publishes on your blog, it'll be the same date here. This is just if you're importing some past posts. But as you can see, your styling in terms of the uh, you know bold text, uh, subheaders, you, uh, URLs, hyperlinks, and whatnot are all showing up. The line spacing is all here. And you can actually speak to your developer about customizing these blog themes so that when this is posted, it's going to look exactly like you want it to be. So for example, if you wanted the featured image to be pulled into the blog post, a developer would be able to obviously have make that happen by editing the template. We haven't edited the template here. Just to show you where that feature Im image is used and the description is used, if we go back to the blog cover page, we can see that that's being pulled in successfully and our description is here as well. So when we click read more, 
We now get the full blog posts, links included, and you're off to the races. So very straightforward, very quick integration. Hopefully this was useful. Thank you so much for your time. We look forward to seeing what you create and we look forward to growing with you. Have a great day.